Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy, in the purest of white light. Okay, I return to source, I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light once again. Okay, all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. Anything the enemy has stolen from you, tried to steal from you, is returned to you, being returned to you as we speak. As I said, yeah, being returned to you as we speak okay as i have said so shall it be the judgment is final okay so we have six 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 out here six has a lot to do with moving on and healing recovering right going through some type of transition in life or spiritually okay um kind of like an exit out of one traumatic experience and starting and embarking on a new journey uh taking all of those experiences that you have with you from the past um, so that you can be able to succeed in the new um, chapter. So if you were betrayed or went through a lot of heartbreak, you'll take those lessons with you into your new future, okay? Uh, your new chapter. It said, I wake up, oh, oh I'm sorry, a wake up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts. You can raise vibration, Lord have mercy. I'm here skipping words. Let's start this again. A wake up call for you to re examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts. You can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. I am centered. So, this is something spirit is calling you to do. And if you notice, this person here is in their thoughts. Okay, maybe he's wondering like hey when is my harvest coming in i'm committed to this path and things like that so spirit is calling you to take time to center yourself be one with yourself so you may need to meditate or something of that nature if it's not meditating maybe even go for a walk spend time with families and friends that are genuinely in alignment with you do things that make you happy right so you can connect with your higher self and receive your messages your downloads a little bit more clearly this is something i've been working on i have quite a lot going on behind the scenes so sometimes uh you know it is what it is but we work on it one day at a time so we are being told today to work on being center raising our vibration and all of that and i hope we all put in an effort to do that let go of the distractions and things of that nature okay so we have our seven of uh, pentacles out here followed by the three of pentacles you <laughs> there's someone in here you put in quite a lot of work into something um and some people there's something where behind the scenes people have been trying to cause some type of tower to your work but you are going to be elevated. It may take a little bit of time for you. You are being advised not to get discouraged. This is what the enemy does. And sometimes, even though the enemy is doing it, this is the most high permitting this person or these groups to do these kind of things because the most high is one, testing you, your dedication, your commitment to your path, your purpose, your calling. And the most high is also testing the person or the people that are coming after you. But right now you are waiting for kind of your fruits, the labors of your fruits, right? The fruits of your labor, excuse me. And it will come. You are going to be elevated. I'm telling you, it is on its way. Um, you've put in all the work that you need to put in. People don't want you exceeding, but you will. This is the energy of you, uh, you know, being focused on your pentacles, you know, aligning yourself, doing what it is you need to do so that you can uh, um, grow your business, your career, whatever this is that you are focused on. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get into this um you could have maybe people working behind the scenes that are just not wanting you to exceed but you will you're going to have your wish fulfillment you're putting a lot of work into your your life your path your calling i don't know why people are always so focused on other energies when they i'm telling you when they choose to do what's best for them when you choose to do what's best for you i don't understand why other people are so focused on you is it because they know they uh, uh, um, 
Is it because they know they are uh, um, invested in the wrong thing? They want your destiny and they can't have it, things like that. We have someone out here with the freaking nine of wands in the reverse. Someone is very deceptive. They've caused a lot of deception. Someone may have been trying to steal what belongs to you. They're not able to have it. They thought they were going to get something. They thought they were going to get something. Someone may even be out here trying to be the better version of you, causing a whole lot of deception, going through a whole lot of adversity because of what they did to you. They didn't expect things like to go this way. It's like someone saying, okay, I've taken their work or I've blocked their work. No one's going to see them. We've hid them. You know, now they're all happy and things like that. And now they think they have to clear the go ahead to manifest some type of new abundance for themselves based off of your hard work and spirits like no we're going to review everything you've been doing behind the scenes to interfere with this person's forward movement interfere with their work someone wanted you waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting just waiting no reward for your efforts however this is what this queen of pentacles is about to go through you yourself you are giving the queen of pentacles energy but whoever was coming up against you her deception is being exposed. This could be a man as well. You know, energy is fluid in tarot. Yeah, her deception is exposed and she being exposed is justice in the situation. Someone thought they got away with something. Absolutely not. Someone thought if they just stay calm and quiet, polite, acted like they didn't know what was going on, played your cards right, people wouldn't know they were causing deception about a queen of wands. You could be the queen of wands or whoever this message resonates with. There's also a queen of wands in here going through some type of ending as well. Someone is being humbled. Someone is being humble with who they really are. Someone thought they had a group of people deceived or masculine deceived, but they are being seen for exactly who they are. If someone was holding on to your wealth, your business, your money, something like that is being released, they cannot hold on to it anymore. They have to let go of that because it does not belong to them. Someone may be losing a property, a home that they stole, some land, whatever this is, they have to let go of it because it doesn't belong to them. Someone is just really greedy. Someone is just really greedy. Someone is greedy and work reckless, superficial, does not carry themselves with class, has no type of respect for themselves or anyone for that matter. And they're seeing that you are free to go. They cannot block you. There's something where a group of people have been causing an illusion about a specific energy to keep them blocked and stagnant and things like that. So you have a lot of minions behind the scenes working together and on their individual terms as well to cause you some type of blockage. But the universe is not having it. You have your source pulled out at these people. You could have someone that even wants to come into your energy to mend things with you, but this is not from a genuine place yeah absolutely this is not from a genuine place this is someone that's coming into gas like you play with you it's a bluff because someone stands to lose a lot of money a lot of resources because they went up against you and lost miserably so now they think the best way to go about the situation is to offer you some type of friendship but i already showed you this person their friendship their olive branch is not solid it's not genuine you, as soon as you touch that sucker, it is going to snap in pieces because that's the universe exposing this person's character to you. These are the kind of people when you are around them, you just know something is off. Something is off. And if you stay around them long enough, you will find, find out what exactly is up. People are seeing you as someone that's very committed, very committal dedicated to your work, your future, your purpose. Someone was out sp spreading a lot of rumors about you gossiping and things like that. And people are realizing the whole time they've been doing all of this, you've just been focused on your career. You've been focused on uh, healing, you know, improving yourself, perfecting whatever it is that matters to you, whether this is a business, a craft, some type of position, whatever this is, people are realizing that you've just been focused on doing what works for you um, and staying committed to your path. I mentioned maybe I think I think I mentioned a queen of wands and here she is out here. Um, yeah. Oh, I tried to pick it up and put it out there and it came out in the reverse. So someone's intuition is not it's not as strong as she thought it was. Someone may have thought that they were gifted, but they're not gifted. Someone is not in alignment with their higher self. 
uh, someone is being exposed as well, that her intuition is not as solid as she made it out to be someone who has said that they were very gifted. Turns out they're not very gifted. They're just really deceptive. They're good at decept deceiving people is what this is. And their ring of deception is over because people see the truth about this woman. She's having, yeah, people see the truth about her. This could be a high priestess just in the reverse. And this could be so, just someone that does not know how to pay attention to their intuition and listen to the messages they're receiving. Or this could be someone that just does not care. They're committed to causing deception. They're not really genuine. Um, they miss they, they they alter things in a way where it makes it look like they are your friend or working with you, but this is a devil in disguise, something like that. Okay. Someone causes a whole lot of deception and they've been able to deceive a lot of people. This could be someone you were friends with in the past. Uh, I don't know if some of you dated this person, if this was like a like a female friend. Um, I don't know, honey. You are familiar with who this person is. Maybe you forgot about them, um, but they're still stuck on you. Someone is stuck in something they cannot get out of. Um, I don't know if she agreed to join some type of toxic group dynamic, whatever, to prove her worth, prove something that she was committed to the group and that group, and now she's trapped in it and cannot get out of it. They don't want her in it anymore, but she's trapped in it because maybe she signed the dotted line. Uh, whatever this is, honey, she's stuck in this. She's stuck in her mind. Her deceptions are being exposed. Uh, she may have sent some type of message as well to cause some type of deception. I'm telling you, didn't I say something about joining some type of toxic group dynamic? She's in something. She's stuck in something. A sister cannot get out. And she thought she was going to send you some type of message to deceive you so that you can come and be trapped with them as well. And sources like absolutely not. This one right here has done too much work to get to where they are, and we're going to keep them in that energy. You stay in that energy. You made your decision of where you want it to be. We're going to keep this person right where they are. We're protecting them. They're getting a new chapter, new life, new abundance, new blessings. This is absolutely someone you are familiar with, darling. So anyone from your past extending an, a, a new olive branch to you, do not accept it. You don't hold any grudges in your heart. I never advise any type of grudge holding on my platform, bitterness, spitefulness. You need to forgive. Some of the times it's best to forgive from a distance and let people just kind of learn their lesson uh, out there. Okay, not in your energy, but out there. Some of these people are getting really desperate behind the scenes. So they're going to be trying to force themselves into your energy and it's not going to go well. This is like someone coming into your energy and then they end up sick the next day or something happens to them, end up in a car accident, lose a job or something like that because they are very committed to coming into your energy because a lot of the times dark worker, they can cause all the manipulation they want about you, your character, who you are. But there are certain work that they do where they feel like they have to be in your immediate energy for it to work. It's not working. It's not working. It's not going to work. So them coming into your energy to do you something is just going to end horribly for them. Some people in here are really stuck in some type of old paradigm of how to do magic. It just is not effective anymore. But someone is feeling to let go. These are people that rely on deception quite a lot manipulation, mind games, child's play, okay, to make things go in their way. These types of coach coping groups, it, they're, it's, they're just don't have longevity. They're not going to last. They know that something is over, but they're trying to hold on to, to it, drag it out. I'm telling you, they're trying to drag it out for as long as possible, but they can't. It's overwhelming. It's become a burden to them. They're overworking themselves. Whoever this queen of wands is, this woman is absolutely, I'm telling you, she's, so things are not looking good. Whoever the queen of swords is in here, honey, it's not looking good for you at all. And there's what there's someone in here planning an ending for you collective. As we already know, we know how that's going to end out. It's not going to go in their favor. Again, the six of cups keeps appearing at the bottom. You are familiar with someone in here or this group as a whole. Okay. This is like, you know, a selective few in here. They've branched out. 
right? The tree has spread or the virus has spread. Now you have people from all different communities coming after you, attacking you. They don't even know you from Adam. You've never done anything to these people, but they're binded in something and they can't get out of it. So they have to do what they have to do. It's you or them and you choose you. Source has chosen you. Your ancestors have chosen you. Their ancestors have not chosen them. They're, they're backing away from these people. This chapter is absolutely over. You could have a masculine in here that's also putting an end to a chapter. He just kind of over it. He wants to have victory somewhere and live a little bit more of a peaceful life because he's seen that however, yeah, however way they've been doing things is not working. If someone was trying to get you to lose your job, they're about to lose their job or it already happened. Someone is going through quite a hard time, and this is because of something they did to you or intended for you. Someone was praying on your downfall, like, hey, we want this person homeless. They're going to be homeless. And spirits, I don't think so. This person is not meant to be homeless. No, thank you. Okay. Uh, so there's some type of plot. I don't know if someone is fighting with a king of wands behind the scenes. It could be this queen of wands out here. Maybe he was working with this woman before, and now maybe he doesn't want to work with her these people are turning on each other there's absolutely some type of battle going on behind the scenes someone could be wanting to have some type of fresh start somewhere so uh the cook could be turning on him now or someone is just yeah he wants to have a fresh start somewhere he's been working with these people but maybe he wants to excommunicate himself or they've excommunicate him but he's going through some type of betrayal um but maybe this is something that's good for him because it's going to allow him oh yeah he's not having a fresh start dang listen they are not having a fresh start someone is being held accountable for everything they did this is so then telling me that someone did something behind the scenes where they thought they would be able to get away with it but they're not able to everyone is held accountable for their karma for their actions everything you do in the dark in the light everyone is held accountable for it doesn't matter how sneaky you think you are you are always held accountable for it someone made some type of reckless move they were they thought they were calculative enough but whatever move they made was absolutely reckless uh-huh and they're gonna have to figure it out they're gonna have to figure it out honey that's all i can say is they're gonna have to figure it out Okay, someone is overcoming some type of heartbreak, taking charge of their life and moving forward. I said these people were fighting, right? You see the Ten of Cups followed by the Five of Wands. That means that there's some type of commotion, chaos, conflict going, behind, going on behind the scenes um, because someone in here now could be advocating for you and they're telling them like they don't need to be doing that. They want to stick to the mission and things like that. And so someone is standing their ground against these people. Um, they're kind of committed to coming and destroy, coming in and destroy you, or staying committed to their cause. It's not going to work for them. This chapter is absolutely over, and I think this is why these people are fighting because this chapter is absolutely over. But they're trying to hold on to it, and it's gone. Someone is trying to block to undo something or stop something. You cannot stop something. Can you imagine giving birth to a child and someone says they want to put the child back into the womb? How in the world are you going to do that? Something is already done. It's already done. But someone is trying to undo it. Impossible. The chapter is over. These people are stuck in some type of chaos they cannot get out of. And this is why they're fighting because you get to move on you ended the chapter you get to move on you have brand new possibilities ahead of you and they don't have i'm telling you, you did you just see that son you get to move on they don't have any new possibilities these people invested their time their money resources into ending someone's future someone's forward movement you have someone here of a high honor that does not have the fresh start that she thought she was going to have someone was very entitled she was so entitled to something that did not belong to her she may have put all of her eggs in one basket which was the dumbest thing to ever do lord it's too much going on here too much and she thought maybe she was going to have some type of brand new beginning with a masculine and he's not interested in her maybe he's seeing the truth about this woman someone in here is questioning how it is you want just because you love yourself or something of that nature honey that's all sometimes we need to do is just love ourselves, focus on ourselves. spirit takes care of the rest so we may not be able to tell you how we even won a battle against a thousand 
But spirit can tell you if you ask spirit, okay, because you came after the wrong energy is what I'm being told to tell you. You were going above your pay grade, basically. That's what I'm being told to tell you. Oh, I'm the I'm just a messenger. Don't come for me, okay? Um, you didn't stay in your place. We all have our place in the universe. You all didn't know how to stay in your place. The rest of us, we know how to stay in our place. We don't go above that or below that, you know. So whatever you all thought you were going to do, that's your business. Just know karma is here. My aunt is knocking on the door. You, whether you answer or you don't answer, you know that heifer don't give a damn. She's going to get in there, okay? But anyways, whoever you are coming after, their victory is ensured. Something was very strategically planned by the universe. And this is why you all do not understand how it is that you lost. You thought because you had the resources, you had the money, you had the connections, the networks, and things like that, that you were ensured victory. But something was divinely orchestrated by the universe for someone to defeat each and every one of you on an individual level and as a collective, right? A collective toxic soul tribe member. Disappointment for you all. I'm telling you, it was absolutely divinely orchestrated. It was planned by the Most High. It was planned by this person's angels. It was planned by their ancestors for you all to be defeated. I told you, this woman of high honor or privilege, whatever she calls herself, she's out in the cold. This group out in the cold, they're losing a lot. Someone may be losing the home. Someone can't come out here anymore and pretend to be bougie, living her best life, pretending to have it all together. A king of pentacles as well is going through an ending. He, he invested in the wrong thing. He should have been practical about a situation. I'm being told to put my car down. He should have been practical about a situation. That's what the King of Pentacles are, are people that are practical. Before they make a move, they do the calculations. They look at the ups and downs, the pros and cons of the situation. What will happen if they take a certain action? What will happen if they take a different action before they make a move? Someone was not practical about a situation and they chose to partner up with the wrong person. So this man is not going, going to be having a new beginning with you. Um, he was hoping to have some type of fresh start. This is like someone going against you behind the scenes, but then thinking they can come to you physically and still be able to move on the calmer waters with you. Imagine like someone blocking your work, not wanting you to succeed. You're supposed to be on a high pedestal when it comes to your work because you've committed yourself to your work to perfect your craft and things like that. And just when you're supposed to receive your reward, they go in and block it behind the scenes and they think you don't know what they were doing. So now they want to come into your life now that they've caused you this huge, huge loss, right? They want to come into your life and mend things with you, give you some type of offer, not really telling you fully what it is that they did behind the scenes to block your resources, block your new beginning and things like that. And they thought that you were going to receive some type of or accept some type of offer they were extending to you. Someone was rejected before they even made a move. That's because you know and your ancestors know you don't play that game. That's deception. Okay, and someone is trying not to see it that way. Someone is very entitled to another person's energy. Someone is very committed to being very devious and malicious. This is something this man has done before. Um, he could even be someone in here is in a relationship and wants you to be like a third party or something like that. It's not happening. Starcy, you're worth way more than that. Do not settle for no nonsense like that. Um, I don't know how acquainted some of you are to my channel, but I don't do well with sharing. Uh, and that's something I always make clear. I'm not good with sharing. If you're someone that likes to be shared between people, you need to go over there, not over here. You're in the wrong environment for that when it comes to me. So I hope you Starcy's empresses and uh, high priestesses that value yourself will have the same mentality and know that you deserve better. If someone is wanting to put you in a third party that should tell you everything you need to know about that person, how their brain operates, how many senses they have intact, you should know that there are certain screws loose in that person's head and you don't need to be entertaining. Anything with that person, leave them where they are, wish them well, and be on your merry way. Let them be on their toxic karmic way, okay? Um, but in here, these people may have been waiting for some type of financial payout as well. They're not receiving it. And if it may, it's been made known to them, they're not receiving it. There's a couple here going through some type of financial loss they may not be able to recover from. People are seeing the truth about them as well. They may have partnered up with a masculine to come in and do you something. He's not able to do you something because he's going through a loss as well. 
Um, you have a masculine in here as well that's, that has foresight about a situation that's taking place. There could be a lot of manipulation going on and he's taking some type of action as well to bring balance into a situation. So you may not know this masculine, but there is someone behind the scenes that's advocating for you. He may be doing it discreetly, which is probably best for his safety because these are karmic people. The meaning they find out that you support someone they don't stand with, it's a problem. They're bringing you all kinds of unnecessary issues that you just don't need to be dealing with. So someone may be doing something discreetly, okay? This collab collaboration where uh, uh, these people just thought that they had it all figured out and things like that is just not going to be what they think it is. It's not what they think it is. Okay. Something you've said, something you've done has caused an ending uh, or something. Yeah. Something you've done, which is staying true to your past, staying true to yourself has led to an ending with these people. Whatever new beginning they were anticipating is just not happening. Everything will be taking place for you collective in divine timing. So don't worry about anything. Um, someone could be trying to interfere with your work or something they did in the past. Um, and Spirit wants you to know it doesn't matter what type of betrayal or ending you experience with this group. You are still the one with the authority in the situation, the power. You are supported. So you are going to get to be able to move on with your life and leave these karmics in karmic veil so they can continue indulging in their toxicity and going through endings, heartbreaks, betrayals, and things like that. You could have someone in here who is a business owner, who is a manager, something of that nature that's going through some type of adversity as well because of something he did to you and was trying to hide it. He's going through some type of betrayal. This is like someone betrays you just to turn around and be betrayed by the people he betrayed you with and for, okay? That's called karma, being humble, okay? And now someone is very impulsive, so they may be taking actions and things like that. They want you to think that you and them are friends. You know, you and them can move on to karma waters. You are their peace. You are their wish fulfillment. Spirit is not clarifying that for me, so I don't think so. Usually when I'm saying my, saying my messages, my download as I'm going to, the answers are being given to me, but spirit kind of went blank with that one. So I don't think you need to be entertaining that King of Wands. Leave him where he is. He made his choice. That's where he needs to be. He made a clear and direct statement to stores when he partnered up with a feminine energy behind the scenes to take action against you. Now that she betrayed him and he's stuck in whatever it is he's stuck in, he cannot come towards you to have a brand new passionate beginning with you. You will be having that by yourself. None of these masculines in this group, uh huh, none of them took any type of time to think, hey, we should not be doing this. Instead, they said, oh, well, yeah, why not? Why not? Someone heard money and they went bunkers and they were like, yeah, of course. Like, say, say less. They jumped on the bandwagon. Okay, you may be receiving communications about a woman that misuses her gifts or those gifts have been stripped from her. Um, someone was doing some type of work behind the scenes, manipulation, voodoo, he do, she do, they do, could do, we don't do, because we do not need to indulge in low vibrational energy, dark activity to get anything from source. But someone was really using that to be able to live a lavish lifestyle and it's been taken away from them. So they're going to have to build their life back up. And by this, I mean, someone is going to learn how to operate from their higher side. But before they can get to that point, they are going to be dismantled by spirit and lose all of their gifts and abilities. Someone is about to be a human. Okay. Uh, and this is divine intervention by spirit, by source, so that someone can understand what it is they put you through or what they try to put you through. This is the energy that they put out there. So someone is going to have to learn how to manage with a little bit that they will have if spirit even lets them have anything. Well, definitely someone is losing a home out here. It's been taken away from them. Someone is losing opportunities. If, it, if this is a business that they had, they're losing their business. Someone was doing a lot of witchcraft behind the scenes to be able to live a very privileged and just luxurious lifestyle for a lack of a better term a comfortable lifestyle at your expense and at the expense of other people all of this deception has done nothing but trap these people in something they cannot see a way out of because there is no way out of this 
there's no way to minimize the karma. Everything will be accounted for at the full extent, okay? Someone in here could be sick is what I'm hearing as well. They're having a hard time recovering. That is just an intuitive message. Most of my messages are intuitive. I give my messages based on my intuition, not because of what the cards are showing you. I do rely on the card, but I predominantly rely on my intuition because that's how I get most of my messages. Because also, I don't want to be someone that relies heavily on the definition tools that I know how to use in order to understand and receive my messages, right? I don't want to be a dependent on these tools. I want to be self-reliant. That is why I most of the time rely on my intuition and my downloads to give my messages. So even though um, you'll see me shuffling my deck and doing my spread as I'm going, most of my messages are coming from source, okay? Whoever this King of Pentacles is, sir, 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 you should have been absolutely practical. There is something about the Queen, King of Pentacles that always fascinate me and baffle me at the same time. It's that these are people, these are masculines a lot of the times, or you, I'm going to say masculines. These are masculines a lot of the times that have worked extremely hard to get to where they are. They have gone through some type of really hard and long journey to be able to achieve their success but for some reason they are so gullible it is easy to mislead and manipulate these types of men i don't get it why is it that because as you go through this journey this long and hard journey king of pentacles to get to where you are there are lessons that you are supposed to be learning so that when you get to your destination and someone comes to cause you deception someone comes to deceive you, you should not be easily led astray. But someone in here is very vain, financially focused. They don't care what they have to do to get the next dollar. They don't care who they have to step on to get the next dollar. And now they're sitting here knowing what's coming their way, the amount of loss they're about to experience. And they don't understand how things turn out this way. Well, we will tell you, sir, how things turn out this way. You were foolish. You are not the fool, you were foolish. There's a difference between the fool and a foolish person. The fool is someone that's optimistic, hopeful, enthusiastic, has a direct connection to source. They're, before they approach something, they are thinking about it, they're calculative about it, they're open-minded and open-hearted, very pure intentions and things like that. You're not. You're bitter, you're malicious, you're greedy right you are greedy you may someone may have even misled a child of theirs to do something they should not have partaken in someone in here may not him someone in here may have offered a child up as a sacrifice or something of that nature i remember i received this message a some a whole year or something ago even over that um not even a year it may have been a lot longer than that someone literally had a child with someone just so that they could sacrifice that child and this is something someone had done before is that they made a promise that when the child was born they would be able to provide this child to the devil so that the devil could execute that child or something like that and it's not happening a child was born that is heavily protected because of the mother that the child has okay the mother comes from, from, comes from a secret bloodline that is heavily protected. And this masculine thought he was going to be able to kidnap a child and take them and do something with them. It's not so. Someone has a lot of karma coming their way. They may even be going through their karma right now. This is just the beginning of that karma for you, sir. But best believe, someone was trying to kidnap a child to have them out of here. And it's never going to happen. There's a child with a lot of protection around them because the mother has asked the spirit realm to protect that child because she knows what this man was trying to do to her child, okay? Um, but overall, honey, your enemies are going through and then your new beginning is beginning is in short. You get to move on to karma waters with these six out here. You get to heal um, while your enemies are stuck in whatever it is they created for themselves. Do not feel sorry for anyone in this situation because they absolutely created this madness of a life for themselves um, and they have no one to blame but 
the person that is looking at them in the mirror. The person that's looking back at them in the mirror. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do our angel numbers and see what spirit's advice is to us. Spirit, what would you like us to be aware of? Because, honey, these karmics are always karmicking out here, causing us headaches and things like that. But we're not losing any sleep. So it is what it is. Okay. We have two. We have six. And we have eight. Two has to do always with coming together. Uh, manifesting a new reality with a partner. It can be in business, in romance. This is usually the twin flame or the soul twin number. Two lovers coming together successfully to manifest a new reality. It said you have keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guy and supporter. I am intuitive. Absolutely. I hope when you all come to my channel, you do learn something from me. I do try to be a very much uh, a being that is enlightening to other people. Um, so hopefully you are, are also taking the time to invest into your journey, healing and being of a guy um, to other energies in your life that are not as awakened as you. You don't need to force it on them. Do it gently. If they reject you, you know, let them be. We all have a right. We have all have free will to choose the path that we want. And not everyone is where we are or and not everyone is headed where we're headed. Okay. And you have to understand and respect their choice, no matter how toxic or on healthy it is for them they have the right to make that decision we have 24 out here which, which is another six moving on to karma waters healing recovery spiritual ascension things like that it said you have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balance stable relationships you are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer protector and provider all at once i am generous Absolutely. 44 uh, for the number of protection and security, a uh, love, divine uh, beings loving you from up above, watching over you and things like that. When you see the number four, just know that your angels are around you, your ancestors are around you, they're watching over you. Um, so and then it has to do with abundance that is from that is directly from the hand of the most high being given to you. These are infinite blessings that will last for generations to come. And these are not blessings people can take away from you. These are like blessings that are destined for you, okay? Um, it said, your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. I am supported. I'm telling you, your angels are, are absolutely watching over you, supporting you, protecting you. Um, just making sure that no cuckoo karmic is coming into your energy to do you something. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed and I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.